guys um welcome to good news talk show today we have a wonderful um, man of god with us that god is going to use him to speak to us and also encourage us so if you just join us kindly um share this video and also invite others to be part of this Like we always do every Friday, we try to bring a prolific personality, someone with positive in influence that is impacting and also advancing the kingdom of God, number one, and also helping people discover their purpose. Like I told you guys that here, our motto is your purpose, your life. When you discover your purpose, you have discovered your life. And any purpose that helps humanity is a purpose from God. If your purpose is destroying humanity, I don't think it's a purpose from God. So today is going to be a um, very, very great discussion uh, with this awesome man of God. And without wasting my time, I would like to bring on the platform Reverend um, Dr. Abiyam Danso. Hello, sir. Yeah, I salute you. I salute you too. Where the and then the Ajo time pa me I'm doing so why you busy now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Chuma ba kasa kasa jume di so. Yeah, semo. Yeah, semo. Jume di do so pa, but yeah, that was so sad. Um, what take time out of your busy schedule now? What make it time? Am I? I know it's right now. Crying when I'm crying, so I woke up. But yeah, per se, you know, you and come up. Yeah, here and there. Be now before that, no, me per se, uh, me my opportunity. Nanka, sir, and that made a minimum. My follow for a while. I know you, Nanka, ja, one cast all my introduction of who, um, Reverend Dr. Abiam Danso, yeah, can Reverend Dr. Abiam Danso. Who Reverend Doctor Abiam Danso is the only one United States here. Yo, uh, I'm Reverend Doctor Abiam Danso. I'm a student of this world, and then also a family man. I'm married to my wife, Doctor. Evelyn Danso. And my mission is to serve my nation, God, and country. Awesome. So that is my mission. Reverend, um, yeah, that was said. I mean, you have introduced who you are and also what you do and your mission and your purpose to serve God and also your nation. And also the world, humanity as uh, as well. Um, we want to know some some people have watched your videos, they have listened to your preaching, and um, I want to know how your journey began. You know, can you walk us through? Because now I know you are a man of God, but before becoming a man of God, how did your journey begin? <laughs> I mean, uh, when it comes to Ghana, sometimes it's very easy, simple um, to understand what some of us we went through. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I found myself uh, going through was normal. Um, first of all, I lost my, my father when I was, was very young. Um, like, I was about five years. And then wow. also, I went through hardship. Knowing myself, uh, I remember those times. Just to get in a school fees was a problem. So finishing school, I wasn't able to write. I wasn't able to read. 
Uh, I also went through uh, being rejected. Uh, I remember I found myself in both uh, Wow. Selling ice kinky. Uh, walking barefooted. Uh, coming back to uh, Accra. Um, I was 14 years. I found myself sleeping under the bridge. You know, um, that, that the area was called Kanish Market. So um, it got to even a point where I had to, you know, carry even toilet just to get the food to eat. And um, in those days, we, we, we were not thinking about money like the way people are thinking about money now. Yeah. Uh, one of the things we thought of was surviving. And for a person to survive, you need food. So mostly what we thought of was always what to eat. I mean, where to sleep was not the problem. It wasn't what we were thinking about, although it was a problem. That wasn't the main issue. The main focus, yeah. But what we eat was the more, you know, the main issue. So I think um, by God's grace, uh, things became very tough until I decided to kill myself. Um, during that process of time, I found myself in a church auditorium, a place where it was uncompleted building, or a church building. So there, I met uh, my spiritual man of God which was my spiritual father. And he was called Reverend Osei. So his, his name was Kwame Osei Nese, okay. uh, which happened to be a pastor in United, uh, United Pentecostal Church. And by God's grace, um, took me in anyway uh, because at that time I'd gone to many churches and they have kicked me out of those churches because they saw me dirty, they saw me smelling. Wow. Um, but by God's grace, when I got to that point, uh, they kept me there. And I remember. That wasn't easy. Uh, today I'm with one of my brothers. That when I was in the church, uh, sleeping at that place, I was struggling to do music and all that. And he here with me. Hello, <laughs> sir. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's not coincidental. Although it wasn't a plan thing, it just happened. Wow. Um, seriously, we have struggled in life. Different types of rejections. Uh, people never believe a day like this will meet, you know, will come. But by, by God's grace, uh, we are here. <laughs> wow, we thank God that you are still alive, though, because right now your life is so inspiring and very, very, like, 
encouraging most people wouldn't yes. have survived what you have gone through and when someone look at you right now they all say that you see my glory but you don't know the story and i really appreciate you telling mm. us i mean details like this about your life and your per your, your personality so w when we go back a little bit well what like your parents both of them died uh, i would have said it looked like that wow. because there was nothing called parents you know there was nothing called family there was nothing called siblings so i was alone it was all about wow. myself you know so i really i really went through yeah I so really went now my my next question is how did you find yourself doing god's work i mean right now you are a man of god um one thing i remember my mom my mom taught me how to you know how to pray uh, okay so first of all that was the main thing yeah i was taught how to pray i think uh, uh, there's a um, police you know somewhere so uh, that's why that is happening to me so please bear with me no problem uh, <laughs> Oh. Yes, we can go now. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. So, so actually, my mom was a prayerful woman, mm -hmm. and um, by God's grace, we were taught to pray. If you need water, you pray. If if you need food, you have to pray. Wow. So in the time when I was struggling, I started to pray. It was all about praying. And, and then also, I had many encounters with God. So my form of knowing God is a personal thing. It's not okay. about somebody preaching to me and saying, you must believe in God. No, that wasn't it. My one was more like uh, the poor form of um, encounter. Encounter. Yeah. You know, so uh, it would be hard for somebody to change my mind not to believe in God. And if you look at somebody like Definitely. who was eating on, in, in the floor, you know, mm -hmm. I'll take bread on the floor and eat. And today, MPs and, you know, politicians will come to you and say to you, we need you financially, all that. That alone shows that God can do a great miracle, uh, which uh, your mind can never comprehend. That's right. Somebody who has no to write his name, somebody who has no idea of how to read, and now you are having a university. I never thought one day I would even own a, a, a hospital, but I have. You know, wow. um, never believed that one day I will have my own, you know, bank. I never believed that one day I will have houses. And I think God has done it all. And I know more is yet to be done. And the good thing is that I thank God so much that it's not about me being a pastor or doing church that gave me all these things. Yes. It is about God's own connections and had, you know, mercy me. And so mm. connecting me to various of businesses that brought me to this far. 
So I give wow. God the praise wow. anyway. Yeah. Uh, this is Good News Talk Show with Reverend Dr. Abiam and Pama Danso. And uh, if you're just watching us, make sure you tune in well and listen to his life story so that you can get inspired. Make sure you share this on your platform too. So, like I said, I, I love what you just said. That it's not because you are doing church that brought you this far, but it's God's mercy that connected you. There are so many people, youth especially in Ghana per se, who are always looking to the politicians for help blaming the government that um oh it's because of this president it's because of this this what looking at your life what is the best advice you can give to them in case somebody is waiting for someone to come and rescue them here you didn't get that opportunity i think i think uh, loyalty understanding and service uh, does the work. I always say that you must, you know, one of the things we have to look at as human beings, we should always think about is able to have the results. If, he, if somebody hire you, yes, is not looking for your hard work. Yes. Is looking for your result. Okay. So when you are able to bring a good result, you get promoted. That's so right. we should always focus That's on right. looking for each problems and solving them, bringing results mm. to every work that has been given to us. As the Bible yes. says that. Whatever you find your hands doing, do it with all do your might, well. with all your with strength. All your might. You know, and then also one of the things I can say to most of the youth, we should always look for what we need, not what we want. As soon as okay. we begin to look for what you want, you put pressure on yourself. There are many okay. people who are competing with themselves. So it does not make them complete. But we are born to be complete. You know? Yes. Not to compete. So for me, when you look for what you need, you, you devalue your stress, mm. you know, you will not find yourself in any form of cataclysmic. Yes. You know, so I think that the people should understand, yes, we may have our want. Our want may be there, but God will never provide you your want. Rather, he provides wow. you your need. It is only the devil who gives you a mission to look for your want. Whereby he knows that when wow. he puts you in that, you know, direction, you struggle, you suffer, you you end up, you know, having all form of stress. And if you are not careful, you will destroy yourself. Yeah. So yeah. I always advise yeah. people look at what God said. He said, I will supply you all your needs. Yes. He didn't say, I will supply you all your wants. Yes. So do you need oxygen? Focus on that. You need oxygen to live. The dress you need to wear to go to your workplace to church or to a party, that's what you have to buy. Mm -hmm. And so stop buying things that you don't need, thinking that you want it. Mm. Putting help. That's powerful. That's powerful. 
That's powerful. Wow. So um, <laughs> I'm so I'm so I'm so happy for this wisdom nuggets you're giving us, because for someone uh, with such a um, disadvantageous I mean background, and here you have been able to persist and like run through all of these obstacles, and you didn't give up, and here you are. So I believe you have something more substantial to give to the youth of today. And we, we really appreciate your time here. Um, someone might be listening right now and they don't know the difference between want and need. Because sometimes we confuse both together. So is there any way you can give us a specific examples of um, this is what I need and also this is what I want. So I should focus on what I need and then let go of this. This is a want. If you can give us some specific examples, that will, that will be helpful, sir. You see, most of the time, somebody can go to, for instance, uh, a restaurant. Yeah. And um, buy a lot of food. Yes. Because there are friends there to prove that, yes, I have money. You can afford it. Yeah. Whereby you may not need that food. You waste the food. That yes. is, that is. I remember one of my sons bought me a jet, mm -hmm. and he's living in America anyway. And that is the way he does. Okay. And at that time, I asked him how much. Do I need to be able to keep that um, the jet? And okay. he showed me how much I need every two weeks. And if I'm traveling from uh, London to Ghana, how much I'll spend um, from London to America, how much I'll spend. Wow. And I sat down and I realized that I didn't need it. I want it anyway. But mm -hmm. in the kind of life I'm living in, it was not needed. That's right. I told him if it is possible. I have needs. You can sell the debt. And give me the money. <laughs> but that's what happened. That's right. You understand? That's wisdom. Yes. Uh, some Thank people you so have much. bought a um, lot of dresses. I know you. You know, somebody has gone to get um, Nokia. Somebody um, yes. wants. Um, uh, you, you have, the, uh, let's say, a. Uh, uh, iPhone and yes. a new iPhone has come and you yes. know that you don't need that iPhone it's just yes. everybody is using it so that for you too you want it you want to yes so you go through all stress for it knowing that you don't need it wow if you do that, you end up losing your life. That's right. That's right. So cut That's your right. coat according to your size. That's right. Cut your coat according to your size. The coats according to your size. Reverend Dr. Abiyam and Madam So. Man of God, I know you also you are also into the gospel music industry. Let me say the ministry actually. And um your ministration is so powerful so dynamic it brings the presence of god so um i have seen that many times you do um worship uh, collaboration with um secular artists like kwame eugene kiddy um uh, Inno Bar i don't know her name last name but i've seen you with a couple of secular musicians yeah, baroni yes yes and um i think you are bringing another one with uh, wendy shea actually 
last time you said something like that it's coming it's coming when you say one is coming yes I, I I would like to know your 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 motive like what what made you want to reach out to these people and um bring them into the gospel uh to want to have one who do something like that with them all right first of all I am not a gospel musician and I am not okay a gospel musician thing Okay. I'm still a servant of God, and I see these people, Kwame Uji, somebody like uh, Kidi, somebody like Enu, somebody like um, Kwimi, somebody like um, yes. um, Satawali, all these people. I yes. see that there is God in them. That's right. And I believe that as a man of God, it is uh, paramount that they, I remind them of the God who created them. Yes. So mostly what I do is that I create an atmosphere. Okay. That they will come and we all worship God. Awesome. So it's not a collaboration. It's an, a collective um, 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 action okay. of proving to God how much we love Him, yes, and how we remember where He has brought us and who He is in our life. That's right. So, most of the times, I become like a vessel to be used to remember, remind our youth yes. that Jesus is no God. So that's the I, mission. I, I, I only I, yeah, I only ask that question because sometimes when um, especially Ghanaians, we have this narrow mindset that uh, when someone is doing I'm trying to play the devil's advocate Sorry. here. When someone is doing a circular then we yeah. have, we sanction the person to be like uh, the person sings for the devil. And so when a Christian... All right, let me, let me ask you a question. The work that you are doing, yeah. do you get paid? No. Okay. Anybody that is having a working at a company get paid and spend time on that work, automatically that work is a secular work. That's right. So those people that call themselves God position, as long as they get paid of the work that they are doing, or the music that's singing. Yes. That is secular. Okay. So if you have a dictionary there, you can get the definition of secular. Okay. And you realize that anyone that is working in that form is a secular person. So like for All instance, right. if a doctor and an applauding go to hospital to check women and all that, and we give them chance to come to church and pray. These people also, the, what they are doing is also an act, it's a work. Yes. So therefore, you should allow them to come to church as well. That's right. I wonder why we allow actors and actresses to come to church. But when it comes to musicians, we, we run them as in their secular so therefore they don't have the right to come to church yeah. whereby their songs they sing is different from their character yes. so they have stage character they have yes. a stage name 
those who know Shatawale will tell you that the Shatawale that everybody thinks he is is not who he is because he's a father, he's a loving brother, he's somebody people adore so much. I know I'm using myself as a son, as a little brother. And if you meet Kwame Uji, you'll be shocked. We don't know Kwame Uji, we know that he's a church boy. That's right. Somebody like um, Wendy Shea. He's a church girl. Yeah. Somebody like Edo. Have a father is a pastor. Mm. But people don't know. So if we don't bring them closer to God, the devil will swallow them. And these are the people that's, that that's, Jesus that's Christ, if he was alive, uh, sorry, if he was in on, on earth, he's alive. Yes. He would have gone if after he was on this earth, he would have gone after those people. That's, I think... Oh. That is where uh, the true evangelism actually comes in because Jesus was actually dining with sinners and going to sinners. He wasn't staying away yeah. from them. That is the thing. I, I, so that I is think, the thing. So here, this is what I see. When it comes to Ghana evangelism, it looks like we are always pointing fingers at you have done this, you have done that, you have done this, you have done that. And um, they take... John the Baptist's way of preaching and forget the one that actually came after John the Baptist, who was actually the Messiah, and he wasn't condemning people's sin, but actually reaching out to them. So why do you think that we have that mindset that we are always judging people and we don't want to reach out to them and bring them to the saving knowledge of Christ? I, I think for me, because if I die right, I will die alone. Mm -hmm. I am so busy focusing on how I can save those I ought to save so that I get my crown. So right. how people think that is not my business. <laughs> my business is to make sure that I will get the crown that Jehovah wants me to have. If Wonderful. If today I sleep with any woman, if today I sin against my maker, he is the only person I will answer to. Yeah. I will not listen to what people are saying. Yes. I will focus to make sure I fulfill the mission. Because whatever you do, people will talk of it. And they That's have right. their own right to talk about whatever they want to talk about. It's but true. the judge is Jehovah God. And so for me, I, 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 I don't want to talk about what somebody is doing. For me, I believe that the prostitute needs help. The lesbian yes. needs help. The killer yes. needs help. So I need help. So therefore, yes. it's all about God having mercy mm. upon us. And so what I do is to introduce him unto the people. Whosoever you are. He said, come unto me. And I'll give you rest. Yes. Watch on. It's true. It's true. Reverend, I, hope you, I hope you understand. I really, really understand. I really appreciate you giving clarity in that area. Um, I want to know that this, it looks like most musicians start from church. Those who branch their way, they always begin from the church and then eventually they, they go off track and then begins to do other, um, what we call secular songs. Why why does it happen like that? I don't think they go off track. 
Okay. I, I don't think so because if you are in the in the church, I don't you mean the church mm. that you church it cannot be seen. Church okay. can be felt. Okay. Church is a spirit. Church is a presence. Mm -hmm. So therefore, when a group of people meet in the name of the Lord and we call his name with one accord the church shows up so it's not seen with our naked eyes yes i don't know whether you want to talk about a denomination groups that's what you uh, want to talk I, about if i can um if i can um um rick collect myself um gana omoka asem bi se oh we to o sha se no o to asori jum ene de wo to ewi asenyum like no uh, that's the that's the that's the way i want to i want to help us how me nan wo bi a o to heaven me nan wo bi a wo to heaven yum ye nyina ye to bi asenyum Okay. That's right. I like that definition. No, 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 no. A drupe beer, any party be brave, I don't believe in judgment. Yes. I believe in God. Yes. Um, I don't, I, it doesn't mean I don't believe in the judgment of God. Oh, yeah. I yeah, I know what you mean. We have no right to judge anybody. That's right. But we have right to advise people. Yes. We have right to encourage people. We have right to forgive people. Yes. We have right to love people. Mm -hmm. We are we have right to um introduce Jesus to people. Yes. Now the point I believe you wanted to make is this. Yeah. Somebody was going to Pentecost. Somebody mm -hmm. was going to Anglican. Yes. And he was using the Bible words to sing. Yes. This is what you are saying. Yeah. Was so full. So we can trust some no trust some trust it. Yes, you will be one no far, no no. I don't know a city hall. I yet trust them. Yes, I yet trust them. Trust them. I can. Oh, but I will run in one and in Pokia Sisters for Nasa Bill and then and in the new one and the Bataba and then won't run it back. Sabi at twenty sixty. Let's say no one and one at less than the Oba. Yes, you are fine. Yes. 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 And and I will do them, so I say, wait till you hear me. We hear me. I will see you.
yenyi na ya wewe ya asifase we are we are in this world but we are not of this world yeah that's right and he says we should occupy till he comes yeah on one day ya bawo what will qualify us to go to heaven you must do the things that the world needs to know i was all here ya say ya mabi an sana timi ama why you qualified to be able to go to heaven yes and okay and he is strange and am so mo betin ya ma we ya make ya say ye mi i judgment no bob malin sembia o kitka ya wo ko hwe bob malin nyumo a obo boy a odo na ofin tampe o ti ase e nanso ni nsam o kitka ya bi won mo a and the wutie gospel artist nyumbia akutia sa over just about mali nyum no any gospel but you know now was one low one day one hat let's get together with other what you know be all right and feel all right the batch of bunny all kind of thing Ranka Bonivia. Enti ano na yewi asinyo. On be friend yi asinyo. Trust them say. Em man sem ni nyina. Yebi ka good evening. Plan. Yes mommy. Be pa so yen ya ma ajo. Ka ni. We le no. Kubo, mmoja kubo, wana bana mmoja. Kusiana. Ah. Bishi, na utoa dia wa. Tama sisi yao, ni pana msa. Baada ukoto, ukoto kuna brasi. Watu. Aiyo. Otiama yuani. Watu. Ni njala di. Hey, you ready? My number, mommy. My share will be for you. Oh, my dear, also. Yen tem, yen tem. Aye. Are you are you doing anything? Fifty cities. Yeah. Ah. Number, number, number. Opa. Oni, oni. Bra, oni. Tapa, oni. Tugu, oni. Bra, oni. Oso hapa tonda ya tonda. Yesu mwa. Ewa si mwa. Boy, bubi mwa. Sorry. Part of your work. No problem. Eja. Emi nuse ni nina kama ubi. Tisa meja. Ya ya privilege kwa si ya hunu na live. No, a man for swa hunu ya ma oye. Ewa kukuma wa dibuwa mwa. Wow. Amazing. Wow. So basically, that is it. You see, uh, it's amazing, but we thank God. That's right. That's right. This is one of the people um, we we saw before trying to help, but somehow I think the parents came and took um, her away from from us. As ah, we have seen her again. Wow. And can you imagine? She's selling. By the roadside, and we have to change their life. That's right. So this was not something that we we planned. On your platform, we didn't plan this. So this is good news. Home. This is actually good news talk show. They had the name good news. Tifa, <laughs> etesi uh, fa. So um, I've told I've told her to come home. Me de nyami ase. Brother, yeah, yeah, take you much of your time. You, you have few minutes being a wrap up now. What's my cotton? I also, yes, so a ye right now. No, you are also into other business aspects, uh, okay, hospitals, your own bank, and um, who created jobs for uh, more money, Juma, a year, a war gun, and so on, Juma, a year, a year, um. 
how do you manage uh, Nyamia Juma and also all these branches under Abiam City? Uh, how how do you do all those that? And our our area no Um, I think so. Nini na ye Jamia Juma. Okay. And because Nyamia Juma no, when you are serving people. Yes. So that makes it more easier for me. You see, to okay. serve God is all about serving people. So the work that yeah, we, we do so is we 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 serve we people. We are the same. We are the same. Oh, yeah, time will cry so plenty. No problem. I don't know if I enti ye be jawa mo akọ ye da wase na ye nim se me repem nso ye be fra ye be san invite o na wa share more ideas with us ti nya mi shop are ready eno de me wo fie ti e be fine yeah that would be great that would be great thank you so much bye bye all right bye guys that was um reverend abiam and Puma Dan so and uh, we had a chat with on Good News Talk Show. And you can tell he's busy and we he still managed to get through with us so that we can keep up with the schedule time. And next time we're gonna have him because he'll be in the house and then we can talk more in depth about some of the these issues going on in the gospel, um, and also the world as a whole. Ain't he, um I'm going to play one of his ministration with Kwame Eugene. And then from there, we'll call it for the day. My name is Ranji Ajman. If you're not following us on Good News, uh, our page, make sure you like it and then hit the bell so that whenever we come live, you don't miss out. Also, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Good News that Studios TV. God bless you. And until we see you again, be protected and work hard. Bye-bye. Come on, you're up. And come on, you cry. Sonia, yes, what a Roma. And come on, you cry. You see, the meaning of the song is I would have been lost if it wasn't the grace of God. I would have been lost. I want you to join me, regardless what you are, where you've been. I want you to lift up your hands with me. Let's worship him. Whatsoever that brought you, come out of your comfort zone and give him the praise. A weed smoker like me, a prostitute like me, a thief like me, an arm robber like me somebody who has been judged by men who is me for me to stand in the presence of God and come on you cry and come on you cry Sonia Yesu not the woman and come on you cry and come on, you roll. And come on, you roll. Sonia, yes, not a Roman. And come on, you cry. And come on, you roll. And come in, baby, da. Sonia, yes, not a Roman. And come on, you cry. Sonia Yesu Nada Roma Akama Mayo Kra Sonia Yesu Nada Roma Akama Yo Kra Midi Makoma Nimi Kra Mayi Minya Mia Yen Midi Mi wana ni na rae 
Ah, 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 ah,